Hi everyone and welcome to Home Reno Collectibles where I'm going to be reviewing something that I haven't looked at for quite some time, another Star Wars Black Series review, this one a slightly older one, the Anakin Skywalker from Episode 3. So there's been a lot of new recently released Black Series figures that look really, really awesome and uh, I will definitely be picking some up uh, when I go to uh, Comic Con in Birmingham uh, next month. And I've also got some of the Rogue One ones that have just been released uh, coming in my uh, massive, insanely big Big Bad Toy Store shipment which will be coming this month or at least will be shipped out this month once I get some lightsabers. So if you're into Star Wars, there's a lot coming up over the next month, month and a half or so. But in a rambling about other stuff, Let's take a look at the figure itself. You can see it's one of the older ones from the uh, first series because we have the orange on there instead of the blue and the slightly older style box right now. Uh, and then we just have a tiny little bio right there on the back. So let's go ahead and get this thing open and take a closer look. And here we have Anakin Skywalker out of the packaging and in the iconic pose, just like on the back of the box too, uh, fighting with his former master Obi-Wan Kenobi. And right out of the gate, you can definitely see one of the major, major upgrades as part of the line. The blue lightsabers were given an overhaul and they look so much better. The blue is so much more blue. So the saber itself is pretty much the same as the one that comes with Rey. I'm pretty sure that the hilt right here is actually a little bit darker than the... Uh, uh, sort of, you know, the same lightsaber that came with Rey. The mold is the same, but I'm pretty sure that the uh, the Episode 7 hilt of the same type is actually a little bit more chromey, as opposed to Anakin's here, which is more of a kind of uh, a flat grey, as opposed to a shiny metallic look. They're basically both pretty much exactly the same articulation. It is much easier uh, to get Anakin's arms out further with the sabers. That's a bit better with the articulation right here. Whereas Obi-Wan, it was very hard to actually get them uh, together. This is pretty much as far out as I can get. And when I start bringing the arms out, they're just too far apart. And as you can see, the lightsaber, it's just, I just can't get them together. Uh, another thing that they share is the uh, annoying hand poses. So they both have trigger fingers, just like Obi-Wan as well. Now, at least in episode three, Obi-Wan does actually use a gun. Anakin doesn't at all. So yeah, very, very annoying that it's not just a gripping hand that they have actually gone with trigger fingers. That really, really does suck. But as you can see, uh, the, uh, these pieces, just like on the Obi-Wan as well, they are kind of flexible, so it does allow, you can see it move a little bit when I bring the arm in. It does allow for a bit better articulation with bringing the arms together, so they have thought about it. They haven't just made that in hard plastic so that you can't get the arms together to hold the uh, lightsaber hilt in two hands, which is very nice. Uh, so anyway, yeah, uh, the accessory that this guy comes with is another head, so if we bring this guy in closer, you can see that this guy here, he has this nice scar and everything. He has a sort of angry looking face, and he has his red Sith eyes. You also get the standard Anakin Skywalker from a little bit earlier on in the movie with blue eyes and he's uh, he's a lot less hateful. Uh, the hair's a little bit less ruffled and stuff so he's just like normal Anakin here. But with this head sculpt, although I do like it more because it's very unique, we don't usually get an angry Anakin Skywalker figure which is pretty cool. Uh, this one does have a, a bit of overrun there of the paint. So something else I really do like about the Black Series is when they mix together uh, different materials. And this is what I definitely want Marvel Legends to start doing more. Uh, so we have the soft rubbery plastic down here, which allows for great articulation. But then we also have this unified piece underneath. We get this on the Obi-Wan, we get it on Darth Maul, etc, etc. Uh, so it's just, not only does it give it more of a kind of lifelike, realistic look, because it's, you know, it's material, it's what it would actually be. Um, but it's also just allows for great articulation and it allows for a nice seamless thing because if it was all joined up and this plastic then it would be uh, a lot less articulated so it's very nice that you can still get all the articulation and great looks as well. I really really do like cloth on figures especially capes and cloaks which I really wish that they did actually make for these especially for this sort of Sith look. He would look epic with a hood up. Uh, we have some nice sort of copper detailing right there on the arm. Uh, I love the design of these boots as well. They look kind of armored. They're pretty sick. And then we have some silver and black on there and the belt as well. Some more copper and very nice detailing. This actually looks like leather. That looks really, really nice. Now articulation wise, essentially this is exactly the same articulation as Obi-Wan. Just going to go ahead and remove this lightsaber before we do so. Just to mention, you can obviously remove the blade and you can also store the lightsaber, which you can't do with every single figure in this line. But it's very, very nice that you can with this one. So articulation, then the head moves up and down and left and right. The head is also very easy to go ahead and take off and put on. I'll go ahead and put the other head on for you just so you can see it there you go 
Uh, the shoulders come out to the side and rotate all the way around. You get the uh, single jointed elbow as well as the rotation right there. And then a hinge and a rotation at the wrist as well. Ball joint at the waist so it can pivot all the way around side to side and move left and right and pivot forward and back. Legs come out this far to the side, they go forward and back. Rotation in the upper part of the thigh, double jointed knees and then the feet go up and down and have ankle pivot as well. It'd be cool to have some kind of like accessory packs or something where you can get different robes and stuff for different characters. So you could have a Yoda one and an Obi-Wan and Anakin. So you just like an overall robe pack because like Darth Maul for example as well. They definitely do need them. But as they are, they are very, very cool. And if you can track them down, definitely go ahead and pick them up. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to see more pictures or anything else from my collection, including stuff that I do get from Comic-Con and that massive Big Bad Toy Store order when it does come in, check out my Instagram. It's homerino123, and the link is in the description below. And for more Star Wars The Black Series reviews and more, go ahead and subscribe. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.